Fun, Ember here, and welcome back to another deck profile and some gameplay. Yay, finally some gameplay. So today we'll be showcasing a this deck that I've put together. It's called Groudon. Well, one, two, three, ground. But it's essentially a complete meme. It's a joke. Do not take this deck seriously at all. But um, it is a lot of fun to play on the ladder. It does occasionally win a lot of games in a row, and then other times it'll just brick with energy. But of course, that's kind of the fun in playing this deck it's not supposed to be taken seriously and of course when it does perform really well that's when it's hilarious it's also one of the few decks i think in standard that's actually capable of pulling off a real life donk because you can sort of attach energy to chimaicho and then use the the bay combo onto your bench groudon so that's kind of like what we're trying to do here i should probably explain at the start of the video how this deck actually works rather than ramble on that it's a meme but basically we're going to use Chimaicho over here to use a Spacious Tome to search our deck for a Pokemon, usually Groudon, and a supporter card, usually Bay. B, Bay, how you going to pronounce it? So, B slash Bay essentially says, discard the top five cards of your deck and attach any energy cards you discard in this way to your benched fighting Pokemon. And that's good because it means we can play four Capture Energy and four Stone Fighting Energy to attach to our Groudon as well, so it's not we're not just limited to that. We also play one Glare and Zapdos just for the... It's Well, you can use Strong Legs Charger if you really want to, but it's mainly here for the free retreat. It's a very nice pivot, so it's just very helpful to have. You can play more of these if you value the pivot and the Zapper Kick attack more, but I don't, so I just play the one-off for now. And then for Groudon, main star of the show, weak to grass, nothing really terribly bad about that, apart from, I guess, Leafeon's a bit of an auto loss for you, I guess. But um, 130 HP, retreat cost of 3, nothing terribly spectacular, although we can essentially buff it up with Stone Fighting Energy. And we have Magma Volcano Attack for 2 Fighting, 1 Colors, which is important, because it means we only need to hit 2 Energy off Bay if we use a Capture Energy. Discard the top 5 cards of your deck, and it does 80 damage for each Energy card discarded. And we play 33 Energy. Yeah, so it shouldn't be too hard to essentially be getting easy, easy, and I do mean easy, 2 Echoes on Pokemon VMAX. And then the rest of the list is just pretty straightforward. So four Poke Gear to try and find Bay a bit easier. Three Quick Ball, one Energy Search for the occasional you need it. I don't think I've ever used Energy Search in this deck, so you could probably just swap it out for something else. But either way, it's fine. Oh, I forgot to mention it's fourth Quick Ball because they don't line them up together for some reason on TCGO. I think it's weird. But either way, four Quick Ball for Bay. One boss's order, again, this is kind of an option. You don't have to play the one boss's order. It's so random, but any one-off in this kind of deck is random, but it is what it is. Four presses research, four capture energy, four stone fighting, and 25 regular fighting energy. So we're just going to hop into a game here and see if we can secure a game. It's the new ladder. It is expanded rewards, so I'm not as overly happy about working on it. I did a lot of grinding just the other day to try and get the Eternatus V by V and Eternatus V Max. So hopefully the rewards ladder after Executor isn't that bad. We'll just see if it wants to connect us to a game. Which would be would be helpful, wouldn't it? It'd be very helpful if it would. Don't want to put all this recording to waste. Please don't make me look like an idiot. Come on. Please. Okay, there we go. There we go. So we're against Eric Kirby with the Urshifu deck box. Very nice. So our opponent is... I was about to say, was my opponent playing? But I've just remembered that Pokemon don't show colors anymore. And of course, we're going to do the whole glitchy load thing. Yeah. For those of you who ask why I don't record gameplay videos that option, this is kind of why. It doesn't do this all the time, but when you have a lot of families, especially over in the Christmas season, when everyone's using the Wi-Fi, it usually gets pretty grim. I could try clicking on it once. This is terrible. I'm going to leave a timestamp in the description for the, for the people who read the comments first, so they'll get a head start on when the gameplay actually starts, but come on. I don't think it's going to load. I just know for a fact if I stop recording, it's going to load. It's that kind of deck. I feel like I just edit out in post-production. And I get a victory. Wow. What? What? 
Okay, that's a bit weird. I won't count as a victory. I think my opponent just lagged out because our connection between us was too bad. I would like to say if if Kirby if Eric Kirby is watching, I do apologize if that was my connection and not yours. But we'll try again. I'm not saying we're gonna try and win games with a lag, but we'll try again, see if the meme works. Come on. Radovan S with a Charmander deck box and the Pikachu suit. See, with the Charmander deck box, I'd be like, okay, maybe they're a sort of a new player. But the the Pikachu outfit would say otherwise. I'm just going to move that down there slightly so you can see his avatar if you want. So this is kind of what your starting hand will look like most games. So you have the Chimaicho. I'm going to use a Spacious Tone. And then we can attach Fighting Energy. And then hopefully try and find Bay and another Groudon. We are up against a Toxel. This means we're going to against Toxtricity Dragapult or Toxtricity Genesect. Oh boy. Um, I'm not a fan of facing these kinds of decks. Usually two prizers, like Zacian, for example, is a really good matchup for Groudon, surprisingly, because you're just able to set up faster than them usually, which is, I know, strange, but usually most of the time against Zacian, you'll have a, you'll actually have a really good time with, with Groudon. But unfortunately, our opponent, did he forget to use the ability? I feel like he didn't use Fusion Strike System. Okay, maybe he did. Um, I will capture energy for a Chimancho's Outdoors. It's another thing, great thing about this deck, by the way, is that everything is just so easily like laid out. Like you don't have to. Do I want another Groudon? I suppose it doesn't really matter. I think I will get Groudon actually, because then I can have Spacious Tone for the Zapdos. Now do I have to move that? There we go. Sorry about that. And then we'll just quickly run through the deck. We have one B prize. That's not too bad. Bunch of energy, maybe. Again, not the end of the world. Bench that guy. Sometimes you don't need two at once, actually. That may be in a misplay. Two at once can be... Well, two at once, it just means that if you bay and you only hit enough energy to power up one guy, they could boss, stall the other, and then start using a spread-like attack, which can be really annoying, i found. But I don't think this will come back to bite us, and we do need to find both Groudon out the deck, seeing as we seem to have prized two of them, which is really annoying. And of course, the get the deck picks the game we're recording as well, too. This bar is annoying. I think I might have to remove it next game. There we go. I think that's better, because it's down the middle. So, thankfully, their Toxtricity will do us no harm. The Cape of, the cape of, cape of, eh, words. Cape of Toughness is actually really annoying. Is he just not using that ability? I swear he's not using it. I absolutely swear he's not using it. I'm tempted to just take a knockout with Zapdos here. I feel like that's actually a smart play. Because it's not burning as much resources. How many energy was that? Only two. Ooh, okay. That makes me also want to just hunt for another bay. I think the smart play is hunt for another bay, but um, I think we're all about that risk over here, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to zapper kick. Take a prize card. Nope. Not worth it. So I guess that is a, a bonus to playing Zapdos, is that you can just use zapper kick to take out a Sobble, going second and stuff like that. Like It is a genuine strategy. And you're also doing 140 against a Jolteon, which could matter for... Well, it can't really matter for maths anyway, because you like one killing them. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Um, actually, just manual retreat, I guess. It's not it's not, not too much of a big deal. But our opponent is giving us free price cards here. They have a bit of a slow start. They are using the ability. Wait, why did that only net them one card? Oh, I think I've been reading Genesect's ability wrong. I always thought it was like a... Kind of a Caitlyn ability, where you, Caitlyn a trainer, where you draw until you have five. But I think this is draw until you have equal numbers. Fusion Strike Pokemon, if that makes any sense. So that's not actually how I've been perceiving it. I know what I should do here. I think I, think I should hunt down the boss's order. It's a little bit risky. Especially if he bosses this. Hmm. Could capture the active. 
decisions, really. It's just, it's just knowing what to do here. I think I'll get another one of them, though. I'm tempted, though, just to force him to deal with this. It's tricky. I suppose this way he has to find a switch and a boss. So at least we're forcing him into that situation. I probably should have, like... I'll just get this out of the deck. I probably should have checked to see if there was a boss in beforehand. So I probably should have used a quick bolt before I searched for a boss and did that play. But yeah, we're not taking a prize card. And maybe we do want that kind of prize trade against them. Because if we take out two of these, then we only need to take out two of these guys. And then we win. Whereas they need to take out, like, all of this stuff plus an extra Groudon, hopefully. So... Shouldn't be too hard. So going to Peony. So that means they're not finding... Well, they can't boss, basically. That's what I'm trying to say here. See, this is why... This kind of deck is slept on, usually. Because people think, oh, well, Spacious Tone is crap. Because your opponent could just boss your, your targets. Or Marnie you away from your bees. But very rarely do people actually do that in a game. Like, it's the kind of... The trap of hypothetical thinking, where you think your opponent can do the worst, but often they, they just don't, or they can't. So, this is good for us. This is good for us. It means they're going to put on this guy. He can't attack, but he can probably just easily retreat. That's fine. I need to read the special energy quickly, though, because I have no clue what this card does. Abilities. Okay, that's fine. Um, Attach that there. Discard this. Um, do I want another one of these guys? I probably do, right? 20 energy in deck. I think there's a jolly good chance we can actually want to kill them here. If not, it's a good chance. Right. Magma Volcano. Come on for the win. Got him. Got him! Wow. 240 was just in. I thought it'd be 250 HP, but okay. That's fine. Fighting energy. Groudon, that's good to see. We, just, we need a bay at this point. I'm not used to not having enough bay right now. So what my opponent needs to bring this back is a couple of Metal Saucers, and then they're good. Like, that's all they need, really. They have the Air Balloon already, so... Or this is Sparkle. So they just need this is Sparkle, Manual Attachment, Saucer. They get there. Okay, they have the Manual. Do they have the... Do they have... Okay, they have the Oricorio. That's annoying. I don't... I think that means 200, 210, 220, 30, 40. Okay, so the Oricorio does actually make a difference. That's really annoying. So they desperately need the Saucer, but it doesn't look like they're finding it. Unfortunately, there's never a world where we hard retreat Groudon. And they are, they are just going to pass. Okay. I mean, we have the boss, so... <laughs> I mean, yeah, we have the boss, so... Might as well go for it. Attach there. Maybe I should just use Massive Rend. Guarantee damage. Maybe that would have been a smarter play, actually. There's so much, like... Well, not really advanced stuff. Oh, my God. Well, there we go. 380 damage, guys. Even with the damage reduction. This deck is supposed to be trash, but like we're out here thrashing Genesect. Okay, I've, I admit they had a very slow start, but come on, grab them for the win here. So they have not much of a board presence left. They probably think I'm run, I've run out of energy as well. How many energy do I have in the bin? Eight. Wait, eight, nine, ten. So the capture energies are still somewhere. I think there's at least one capture energy left. And there's at least one or two stone fighting. Something like that, anyway. Is he coming at me with the Oricorio? Come at me, bro. I mean, surely I just win with a massive round. I'm not overthinking this, am I? 120? 100? No, I just win with a massive round. It's fine. For the win. Awesome. There we go. So this is like not been a particularly long video. I don't want to keep it too long because otherwise I'll be editing it all night. But there's just to say overall, this deck is a lot of fun. It can do obviously things like that where you just do 380 damage out of nowhere. Of course, it runs into problems where you can't find your bay. Like I was struggling at some parts of that game, for example. 
But against our opponent's Genesect deck, I don't think we did that badly. I mean, I know they had a slow start, they whiffed an attack that turn, but overall, I don't think it's a bad showcase of the deck's potential. Like, obviously, there is just some more stuff I could have improved on. Definitely could have played things a little bit more smoothly. But I wasn't terribly punished, and yeah, it was a decent showcase. Um, let me know what you think down below, as always. I'd love to hear more feedback. Do you want more videos like this where I look at meme decks? Would you like more competitive stuff? Or would you like me to do pack openings? I just love to hear from feedback and um, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you for watching.